Yo, what is up guys? It's the Goblin. I'm back again today with another Black Ops 3 video. In today's video, we have a pretty interesting topic, which we're going to be talking about, um, about to do with the Black Ops 3 and glitches and dark matter camo. So if you guys do enjoy this video, I would appreciate if you guys could subscribe to my channel if you guys are new. And whenever you guys feel like either now or at the end of the video, if you guys could drop a rating on this thing, whether a like or a dislike, whatever you think the video deserves, I'd really appreciate it. And let's get right into the topic. So basically, there has been this glitch in Black Ops 3, which allows you to get dark matter camo at level 1. Now, this isn't just a glitch anyone can do. Basically, how it works is with resetting your stats. You have to actually have dark matter camo, and then you could reset your stats and everything, but keep the dark matter. Because everyone pretty much knows the hardest challenge in Black Ops 3 is the dark matter camo, most likely. You know, getting 10 prestiges, pretty much that one is just you have to play the game a lot. Getting to level 1000, that one you have to play the game a crap load. But getting dark matter camo, you actually have to use guns and can be kind of tedious. So this glitch, or whatever it was, if it was in the game implemented or glitch, Whatever it was was in the game so that basically if you were master prestige or you were whatever level You could reset your stats and keep dark matter camo at level one Basically how this glitch worked is everyone had who had dark matter camo So say me right now. I have dark matter camo. I'm 10th prestige level 300 if I wanted to reset my stats for some reason Now you guys may think why would people want to reset their stats people would do this for videos They'd reset their stats people would reset stats, um, you know to show off to youtubers Hey use my account reset my stats. There's tons of different ways Ways. Maybe you don't like your KD. Maybe you don't like your score per minute or win loss. You want to try to go for a higher one. These are the reasons why people would reset their stats. And basically, how this glitch worked. But make sure you guys don't do this glitch before you watch this whole video because I'm going to be explaining what happens to when you do this glitch. Basically, how it would work is what would happen is if you have dark matter, you would go into Gunsmith and make a variant in Gunsmith of every single gun that you have with the dark matter camo on. Then you would go ahead and fresh restart your stats. And when you're level one, basically, you don't have any camos. You have nothing but if you pick that variant it would have your dark matter camo on it now this was a good way it was kind of debatably was this a glitch or was this put in on the game on purpose now what happened is basically a friend of mine a youtube buddy in credit leg he actually did this he reset his stats he did this dark matter glitch this has been around forever and he actually got his account banned for doing this and this is where i come in to really talk about this because this could be a huge issue in black ops 3 and it's sort of really debatable what is worth a ban what is not worth a ban and it's kind of ridiculous if legit people are getting banned for things that they implement in the game. So, first off, what I want to say is, a lot of the reason people would do this as well is if they would have hacked accounts. There's websites where you can buy hacked accounts with level 1000 dark matter. But the problem with these accounts is if you buy a cheated hacked account and it's level 1000, or you buy a hacked dark matter account, which is basically just a duplicated one, you're not going to appear on the leaderboards. And this is how the people at Treyarch can catch people and ban them, is because if your account doesn't appear on the leaderboards it's pretty obvious that this is not a legitimate account so by resetting their stats and keeping dark matter camo over people were able to reset it and start appearing on the leaderboards as level one so if they are banning people for this that is totally okay if you buy an account obviously you're at risk of it being banned but it seems like now they're taking this and banning legitimate people who are just trying to do this to you know reset their stats for whatever reason not because the account is hacked and they are banning legitimate people now i'm not sure if this happened to any of you guys but if it did i would definitely find a way to contact treyarch contact playstation something like that to get your account back because i don't think that is just to ban someone's account for something that is in the game now this is where the big debate comes in what is available to be banned now is this a glitch in the game? Nobody really knows. You know, if you make a gunsmith variant, there is definitely a reason that you could be doing this without knowing that you are glitching the game or something like that. And then if they ban you and hit you with a ban, that's not really fair. Now, if they can catch these people who weren't on the leaderboards before and are resetting to try to avoid and keep their hacked accounts hidden, that is totally just because, you know, if you buy your account or it's a hacked account, that would definitely deserve a ban. But I just want to make this to warn you guys. If you guys have Dark Matter Camo, if you're trying to reset your stats for whatever reason i'd be kind of cautious about doing this glitch apparently it doesn't even work anymore um, apparently you don't get those gunsmith variants after this latest patch update and this latest patch update they fixed a lot of things so i just want to make this to warn you guys about this explain it to you guys and explain the reasons why people were hackers were doing this to keep their account low key and while regular people were even getting punished for this now this is where the big debate comes in and this is what i want to talk about in this video what is a bannable action in call of duty or on a console game now in my opinion 
something that is bannable you need to 100% no doubt the person knows what they are doing and knows how they are glitching the game that's why I don't think this is just for a ban now obviously Incredilike had his account which apparently it wasn't his main account so he got banned on that one if you have a legit account and you get banned for making weapon variants, I think we can all agree that is absolutely ridiculous. Another thing that I could talk about was the VMP glitch. There was basically a glitch in this game where if you had a VMP secondary, you wouldn't appear on the minimap. Now this glitch, you cannot be banned for, for the simple fact that people could be doing this without knowing the glitch is happening. Obviously some players who aren't in tune with the YouTube community or maybe don't even know about this glitch might like to run a sniper primary with a vmp secondary and if they got banned for that that would be completely inappropriate because they would have no idea that they're getting banned for example other glitches in the game where basically there's uh, quite a few glitches in with this game that allowed you to stay off the radar or where you could pick up your sentry gun the sentry gun would shoot at everyone you could walk around with the sentry gun i think that bannable things in call of duty and in black ops 3 especially needs to be knowing when people are cheating the game now a big issue is obviously these level 1000 accounts back in the day whenever someone had a level 1000 account we would know that account was hacked 100 percent nowadays there's actually legitimate people who grind the game all day i don't know how they do it let me know in the comment section down below what level are you guys are you guys even close to level 1000 because i'm level 310 or 15 right now but there are legitimate people at level 1000 and the issue now is you can't just see a level 1000 and ban them so how they can track them is by being on the leaderboards being not on the leaderboards but they need to make sure they are not banning the wrong people and this is where the big thing comes into play there's not really strict rules on black ops 3 there's not laws like you don't know if you're breaking a law by doing this little glitch you don't know if you're doing this glitch by staying off the radar or even without even knowing it you could be doing a glitch like there's glitches on call of duty 4 and other call of duty games where um if you if you use a certain attachment you'll stay off the radar forever stuff like that those things are not ever going to be bannable and i want you guys to know that the only way that you guys will get banned from black ops 3 is if you are purposely hacking the game if not it is definitely an unjust ban and if you think your account has been banned for something unjust just for example you were just playing and unfortunately without any knowledge that's where i think the the, the line comes into play and that's where i think you could definitely ha get your account back if you don't know what you're doing there's no way you could be banned and be held to that but if you know you're purposely glitching the game and you're purposely you know there's a way they could catch you that's where i would watch out and that's why i would definitely not recommend buying any of these hacked accounts man they are on these hacked accounts like flies man they are going to get you banned and it's so easy to track these accounts because basically the way people would get these dark matter accounts or level 1000 accounts or massive prestige accounts is a duplication glitch now the same thing existed on black ops 2 for ps3 and now it's black ops 3 for ps4 it's kind of funny how you know even three or whatever three years later they can have the same issue on the next version of the call of duty game but basically how it works is that if people would basically just duplicate your account onto another account so if i'm 10 prestige i log into my buddy's account and through some glitching way, I think it's all been patched by now, but you would duplicate that account. But the issue was basically that that duplicated account would not appear on the leaderboards. And it's basically just a matter of time until you get banned. And that's the thing with Black Ops 3. They are handing out bans like nothing, and especially handing out a ban for just doing this, resetting your stats and making gunsmith variants, I think is completely unjust, and that's why I want to make this video to warn you guys, because a lot of people use this strategy, I mean, it's not, it's a pretty good strategy, if you want to reset your stats, you should be able to keep your Dark Matter account, I mean, or your Dark Matter um, camo, because you did earn that thing legitimately, obviously if you're a hacked account, this was a way people are trying to sneak by, and that's why they're trying to hand down the ban, but the thing is, if they're just banning everyone who does this they could be banning innocent people who actually earned their way to master prestige and dark matter camo and just wanted to start back on level one for whatever reason but that's my opinion on the situation i wanted to bring this to your guys attention this level one dark matter glitch what i would say right now is don't do this glitch man even though you probably won't get banned or most likely this glitch doesn't work anymore first of all but they was probably they have eliminated what i from my knowledge they've eliminated your ability to keep your gunsmith variants so don't do this anymore but i just want to make this to say you know watch out what is bannable and what is not bannable is a thin line in call of duty black ops 3 and i know a ton of my friends back in past call of duties have been banned for things that are really really on the line of was this worth a ban and was it not and i think that what call of duty needs 
needs to do is if they are unsure and it's not they should not hand out permanent bans right away it should be a temporary like a seven day ban for something like that unless your account is completely hacked obviously then just banning the account completely is a just way to do it but that's just my opinion on the situation i have earned my dark matter i've earned my level 300 and i'm sure a ton of you guys have earned your stuff as well so you know we want to stay up on the leaderboards where we deserve and stuff like that thank you guys for watching today's video if you guys made it to the end of the video comment dark matter down in the comment section down below i hope you guys did enjoy this video talking about this level one dark matter glitch basically what's going on with the bands and call of duty black ops 3 thanks for watching subscribe for a cookie and i'm out peace have a great night guys